is up guys? Trevor Roskovitsky here on today's video. We're going for Supreme Week 15 and man, we got some interesting items. Um, resell wise, I don't think it's going to be there, but there's some good personal. We got some shorts, finally, man. I've been talking about shorts, wanting shorts for so long now, or shorts and t-shirts instead of sweatshirts and jackets. So we're getting some shorts. We got a Panton chair, or Panton chair. I think it's Panton chair. So there's a lot of items that they're all right here. Here's a couple of the items. Let me know what you think down below before we do jump into the list. Uh, what are you guys going to be copping? Let me know in the comments. Like, I, I want to know what you guys are going for. I'm curious because I have made up my mind what I'm going for either. But so before we get into this list, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and follow all my social medias down below. If you want to kick notify, we have a couple new copies loaded up, which is right there. There's a link down below. There's only going to be 20 people allowed in this month because we're doing some changes in the group. So we're going to keep it a little bit more limited. So let's go ahead and jump right into this drop list and kind of a resale prediction and price prediction. So starting off, we have the Vitra or Vitra Panton chair. Uh, the Panton chairs are very, very interesting. Um, they're gonna be expensive, expensive, expensive. I've heard some people rumor it's gonna be like five to seven hundred dollars, and I've also heard people rumor that it's gonna be in the thousand dollar range. If you go look up their website, you know I'll put up a little like a little screenshot here of what their chairs usually cost. Just know this is gonna be very expensive. The thing is sweet. Um, this would be an awesome accessory to have in your room, but it's really not gonna be worth the thousand dollars. And do I think it's gonna resell? No, because you can go and get these chairs like off-brand chairs, like rep chairs of these for much cheaper than the actual brand. So don't expect much resell. I expect them to sell out pretty fast, but yeah. Uh, now we have a leather key loop. A lot of people like these. Very simple, nice and easy. Uh, they're not very big, so they say Supreme on it. I expect these to be about you know, 30, 40 bucks because of the leather, and it's, it's a keychain. That's expensive for a keychain. I know it's gonna be 30, 40 bucks. No resale value there. And now we have the uh, Mitchell and Ness collab, and I think people are gonna go crazy for these. Everybody likes this style. So it's like a sporty uh, collab of the shorts, and I think these are all gonna do very well. I think this City View is gonna do the best out of all of these shorts here. Um, and Mitchell and Ness is a very, very popular sports brand. Next, we have the umbrella. I'm not really sure. It's Shed Rain Street Signs Umbrella. So I'm guessing that's another collab with them. I think these are going to be way too expensive. I think these are going to be up in the you know, $80, $80 or $60 to $80 range for an umbrella. And I think these shorts that I was hitting on will be anywhere between like $100 and like $130 because they are shorts and they're Mitchell and Ness. Um, resale value may actually be there. I can see you making like $30, $40 bucks on these just because it is summertime. And they're, they're good looking. A lot of people like this style way. Along with the Mitchell and Ness basketball jerseys. That's what they're known for. They're known for their uh, basketball jerseys. Uh, jerseys are always expensive. Be expecting these to be the, like the 98 to like 110, $15 range. 15 is never one what they use, but you know what I mean. Um, they're gonna be expensive. They're gonna be in the 90 to 100. After tax and shipping, no matter what, you're gonna be paying 100 bucks for a jersey, and it's a jersey, guys. Like, let's be honest, jerseys are not worth it. It says, love all, trust few, 2021, do wrong to no one. Nice little thing on the black there. I don't think I really like that. I I don't think there's gonna be resale value within these jerseys. Uh, mesh grip water sh shorts. So we have good old swim trunks once again. Uh, they're a nylon. And I think these are gonna be looking pretty good. cool. People did like these. Resale value, not really gonna be there, but they are like a swim trunk version. You can use them as swim trunks. Those would be like every bit of 88 to 100 bucks. Now we have the Vampire Boy skateboard. Now I don't like the whole Vampire Boy collab here, but their skateboards are usually about $58. These will probably be 58 bucks and it's like 70 to get to your door. It's just Vampire Boy on the side. You got red, um, green, and black colorways. Resell maybe 20, 30 bucks profit local if you have people that really want them, if you have clients for them. Um, now we have the Panther zip up hooded sweatshirt. Crazy graphic on the backside of it, I can't lie. It's got a panther, it screams supreme. It's like an old school style. But once again, it's a hoodie. I think these will be, since the hooded sweatshirt, you're looking at 100, like 148 to $158. I don't think there's gonna be any resale value whatsoever in this. Now we have the Dragon Track Jacket. No one wants these, man. These are ugly looking. Uh, if you do like the Dragon Track Jacket, I'm sorry, but this is not my style. It's old school style and it just isn't for me. And it's a track jacket, so you're looking like every bit of like 148 to 158 and there's gonna be zero resale value. Uh, Vampire Boy Backpack. Now sometimes Supreme Backpacks do do well, like if it's a uh, TNF or the North Face, it does pretty well, but this just does not look good. This looks like, I don't know, this isn't something I'd wanna wear regardless. I don't think anybody really does. Yeah, those will be 58, 68 bucks, no resale. I can see these sitting on the site. Um, next, we have the Dancing Rayon SS shirt. Once again, it, it's like, you know, I'm glad they're doing t-shirts. I'm happy, but this just, I would not be wearing this on myself. Like, ask yourself. Like, ask, like, people watching this right now, would you wear this? Let me know down below. I don't think so. And those shirts are always, it's an SS shirt and it's a button shirt because watch it being $128. Not even a lie. It's going to be very expensive. Um, we have the Vampire Vampire Boy LS Pocket Tee, and since the LS Pocket Tee, they're going to be charging like 80 to 100 bucks for these, especially after tax. Zero resale. 
resale value. Once again, I hate to say that, but a lot of Supreme is zero resale value anymore. Um, now we have the Panther sweatpant. Once again, not unique, nothing crazy. I would not want a Panther all the way down the side of my uh, shorts here. I mean, some people may be able to rock it, like some certain streetwear uh, people that if this is your style, I'm sorry that I'm saying it's not that good looking. It's just not for me. Sweatpants are usually 138 bucks. It may be more because it's the Panther style. Um, then we got overdyed camo cargo shorts. Shorts are, were like $98, I think, or 88 bucks. Um, and since these are cargos, there's a little bit more material, so these are going to be in the $100 range. Especially if you're going online, tax and shipping, that's going to get to you. Not going to be any resale value. Vampire Boy 6 panel, no resale value, and these are not the move. The 6 panel hats, I'm not a big fan of, like especially not this one. Once again, Vampire Boy, I don't think they're going to sell out whatsoever. Uh, be, be expecting $48, 58 bucks on these because it's a 6 panel hat. Um, now we have the Vampire Boy waist bag. Now waist bags have been sitting just from Supreme anyways. You throw a Vampire Boy, I think they're going to sit even longer. Be expecting a $58 price range on those. And finally, we have the Dragon Track Pant. And this is just, I'm not really sure what we have going on there. Once again, if this is your style, I'm sorry to say that it's not that great. For me, that's just me. We all have our own opinions. I'm sure some people can make these look awesome. Um, it's a track pant, so it's like that reflective, or not reflective, but that nylon, and it's water resistant and kind of like a windbreaker material. These would be 138 to 158 bucks, and there will be zero resale value within there once again. Um, if you need a bot to run, I do have a Swift Soul discount code, or not a discount code, but a affiliate link down below if you do want Swift Soul. They destroyed the Air Force One restock today, so just a heads up on that. Best items to go for, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, tell you this right now. You're going to be the Supreme Mitchell and Ness basketball jersey and their shorts. That's probably going to be best. You got your key change, and, and then the chair is going to be very, very expensive. Do I think it's going to resell? No, but these are probably the coolest items we're seeing on week 15 of Supreme. So I feel like I was going on and on and on of, of things saying, oh yeah, there's no resale value. There's none of this. And that's just how Supreme is going. Unless we're seeing box logos, dunks, any of that stuff, we're not seeing resale uh, values at all when it comes to Supreme anymore. It's just too expensive. They're taxing, taxing, and shipping. It just comes out too, too expensive. Once again, I will be running Swift Soul if I do want anything, which is right there. If you never, if you haven't heard of Swift Soul, surely you have at this point, but there will be affiliate link down below it just supports me if you want to support me some more um, i appreciate you all for being here let me know what you think about this collab if you're gonna be going manual i've heard that the uh app store or the app on the phone has been doing awesome i saw some people hit manual today on the air force one restock um and on the website supreme hasn't been that hard to manual either just do not get banned i actually got my ip banned if you don't watch my live streams you know i've been banned for a hot minute but that is it for me guys if you do want to follow me on social medias or my instagram my instagram is right here i respond to every single dm on instagram anyone you want to kick notify it is right there Feel free to join up. We have an awesome community in there. We're always upgrading and adding new features to the uh, to the list. Um, and that is it for this one, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe. 5,000 sub chase. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.